All right, here we are in the backyard. Going to give you a little view coming down from the deck. This is looking straight at the peach tree. A little stack of wood there and the lace cap hydrangea. Give you a little show of that. It's just coming into flower now. You can see there's a ton of peaches on the tree. And there's the old John Deere. And the old shed. Now I'm just going to walk down. Here we are, bottom of the stairs. And this is just looking to the right where it's under the deck. There's my Brugmansias and more Brugmansias and tomatoes and flowers. Looking up to the deck where I just came down, there's my baskets and the bird feeders. I did those myself this year. All right. Moving on now to the left. There's our new little pad in front of the uh, old shed, which is not quite done yet. I'll just have to do the end of that. And moving on to the garden. That trellis there holds beans and cucumbers. Beans on the left, cucumbers on the right. And there's my little garden. It's got just about everything in it. The old picket fence. Then you pan this way and there's garlic. Uh, there's the strawberry bed. More garlic, onions, peas. All right. Moving on, there's my greenhouse with a few things inside there. A few little tomato plants and there's more. Geraniums, tomato plants, Brugmansias. I put those up to shade the sun in the greenhouse when it gets really, really hot. There's the hosta. Oh, look at that. There's a little bird in the bird feeder. What a nice surprise. Rather than the squirrel, I have a bird. There he goes. Yep, that old squirrel is good as dead now, boy. Notice the slinky I put up there just so that uh, he would just bounce down, but that didn't work. He outsmarted me. Yeah, right there's my little seating bench that needs painting and another Brugmansia table with stuff on because I didn't have any other room for it. Um, there's tomatoes in there in those big white buckets. One's blooming, so we'll see how that works this year. And moving on, there's the girls' swing set that they actually still use. There's the dogwood is almost done blooming. And here we have the corner where we have little irises in there. And I'm not sure what that one is. I think it's a soap wart, but I'm not sure. Here we have the pear tree. Little bird bath underneath. And a few rose bushes in there uh, that you can't really see. Let's see if I can zoom in there. All right, there's one little rose bush. Pretty little pink thing. And there's the pears. Look at that. And when we pan this way, there's another little rose bush in there that actually needs to be transplanted. Those spiky things are actually um, yellow irises. There's my lavender. Flowering is just about done. Moving on is a great big hosta. There's another bird feeder. That's squirrel res resistant, although he does try. And I planted some raspberries back there first year. Probably won't get anything. 
there's my rosemary, a few flowers, parsley, and another layer of Birdmanzias, which I'm hoping to sell. Okay, coming around there, another hosta, rosemary, another rose bush, and there's the apple tree. I guess I have to do that from a distance. When I go back, I'll show you that. Um, there's my little bird bath right there. There we go. Little bird bath, probably fallen apples in there. All right, there's some more flowers. Forget their names, but there they are. The roto in the corner that is already done blooming. There's the back gate. Coming around the other side now, by the chimney. There's some more rose bushes. There's that little pink flowering thing. I have no idea what that is. And in the corner is our little our new five fruit cocktail tree right there next to the peach tree <clears throat> all right here we go there is another brigmanzia there's my rose red rose bush that I had to cut way back this this spring so it only has a few flowers but in amongst there is delphinium and my rose bush so I'll give you a close-up of that that's what those roses look like and I probably won't get too many of those this year it's the delphinium and there is the rose bush Beautiful big roses. Alrighty, more irises, which are now done. Peonies, which are done. Now this is coming around back by the deck on the other side of the deck. So, there you have it. Big yard that way. Tomatoes under the deck. And Phil has made a little lean-to there so that they don't get rained on. More baskets right there. Alrighty. And that's just looking down that side there. And here we are, I'll show you the apple tree. Huge, loaded with apples. Alright, so this is pretty much it, except coming around more Rugmansias. What a surprise. And here is our blueberry bushes. There's the smaller tree with smaller berries and there's the bigger one loaded with blueberries. Look at that. Yeah, look at all those blueberries. They are loaded. All right. Well, there you have it. That is, in a nutshell, our yard. Um, there's a little wood pile under there, under that side of the deck, along with all my tomatoes underneath cover, and another pot that I planted up there. That one there. All right. There you are. My garden in a nutshell, the end of May, May 31st, 19, or 2016. Bye for now.